Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. It is Follow a Sketch February for February 16th, 2023. And this is today's sketch. So obviously I am not going to be scrapbooking butterflies because you know that ain't my thing. Um, and I'm also using three uh, photos here. So my orientation is going to be a little bit different, but I think I, I'm still going to get in kind of like the the layery bits and stuff like that and of course decorations and this one is from sketchsupport.com so let's see what I can do okay guys so I'm starting off with a sheet of teal blue cardstock and I'm also using one of those pre-printed papers that came in that page kit if you watched any of my recent uh, Punta Cana layouts you've heard me talk about this page kit um, if you haven't, I bought a page kit. I thought the pieces were uh, individual, but they were pre-printed. So I trimmed down uh, the blue portion uh, that was already pre-printed and placed it over top of my teal cardstock. Now, the reason why I did that was because the blue was only pre-printed on three sides because it's meant to be a two-page layout. And I didn't want to do this as a two-page layout because I'm following a sketch here. Um, I have these three photos of our snacks. So every night uh, after we, you know, did our tedious and such hard and arduous process of choosing the pool or the beach, uh, we'd go back to our room, we'd swim in our private pool, uh, and then we'd get uh, ready, we'd go have a drink and pastries, uh, kind of like in a lobby, an outdoor lobby area, and they would have entertainment. So and we did this every night, and then sometimes we would go to dinner, um, and then sometimes we just have the snacks and the drinks, and we would be fine. Um, but that's what this photo is of the drinks and the snacks. So they were delicious. I'm not gonna lie, um, loving it a lot. <laughs> so yeah, um really want to go back. Uh, so in the sketch, there is a horizontal element and I am going to create that with paper and washi tape. So I have this yellow check paper and then this pre-printed uh, vacation paper that came with the page kit. And I am going to just adhese that down and then I am going to add in a little bit of gold washi tape because it gives me that tiny little bit of sparkle. And I really do enjoy the tiny little bit of sparkle on the Punta Cana layouts. They just, it just makes me happy, right? And your layout should make you happy. Um, if, you're, if you're scrapbooking happy memories, um, they should make you happy. So that's why I put the gold on there. Now, I was toying with the idea of using that beach washi tape that's over to the left. That didn't happen. Uh, what did happen, though, was this dark, kind of dark teal, aqua, whatever color you want to call it, washi tape layered up there. Now, originally, I thought I was going to bring back in another layer of paper and was just going to go ahead and have that gold as the only washi here on the layout. Ultimately, I decided against that uh, because I liked the color of this washi tape. Now, I am going to mat these three photos, so I'm matting them on some khaki cardstock. Now, the drinks up at the top the are mine and Christopher's drinks, and the first drink that is like up close is a margarita in a little cacti glass and I thought the glass was adorable um, and that was mine and then the drink in the background is a virgin pina colada so it was funny because it got to the point um if we were at the pool or even the beach like they 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 keep you in drinks if you want to be kept in drinks um the people that were there to wait on us um would be like two pina coladas, one virgin pina colada, one alcohol pina colada. And we would be like, yes, that is our order. Um, so <laughs> that did happen. Now, we also um, really liked the little, the little desserts. 
and the pastries. That pastry right there that I'm putting down, the first one right there was a pumpkin muffin. And we had so much fun with that um, because when we went to Walt Disney World one year, we took the kids and we met uh, Tinkerbell and friends. <laughs> and um, as soon as we walked around the corner to meet Tinkerbell, she yells out, do you love pumpkin muffins? I love pumpkin muffins. So pumpkin muffins have always been a thing uh, in our family since then. And there, there were pumpkin muffins, so we thought it was amazing. Um, now up on the top, there is a little bit of an embellishment with some clouds and such things. And I decided I was not going to do clouds and such things. What I was going to do was want, use one of these uh, larger die cuts and place this up at the top of the page. So it definitely goes farther across the page than just right there on the upper right hand side. Um, but it works, right? It works. I'm just going to adhere it with some ATG and place it down uh, right here. Now, the pre-printed word on here says destination, and it also has like a little rowboat on it. Now, we were not rowing our boats at all on this trip. We, we rowed no boats. Um, but I do love the look and feel of it and it gives me that kind of vacation-y vibe feel so I am totally cool with using it so if you are a person that is like uh Sandy you you didn't you weren't on a boat you're scrapbooking pictures of food what is going on right here it's a whole vibe right like it's it's how the um it's how the layout feels and since it is all part of the collection that I am using, um, it works. So, um, I'm not going to lie, I'm making noise right now and I'm sorry if that annoys you guys, um, but you know, sometimes you, you need to eat. <laughs> um, so, I'm also pulling out some chipboard. And the chipboard um, is from some collection, and I don't remember what it is. I think it's, I think it's a great paper chipboard. I'm not, I don't, I don't rightly remember. Um, but I wanted to bring that in, and I decided that I wasn't actually going to put down a spot for journaling because I've journaled about this before i'm going to have tons of photos of almost the same exact thing scenery photos us sitting at the table together because we did this every night of our week-long vacation so i don't really feel the need to talk about it every single layout sometimes it's just going to be pretty pictures and pretty things so i do have some of these paper flowers and I'm going to add them onto the layout as well. It gives a little bit of a deeper color to that pre-printed uh, kind of deep salmon -y coral, coral color. And that makes me happy. So I'm going to pop those around. And then I decide that the layout needs more. Right? Like, you can look at your layouts and be like, mm-hmm, that definitely needs more. And um, I go ahead and take care of that by adding more. So because it has those big tropical leaves right there, I decide, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add more, right? Like, why not? I've got a little bit of tropical leaves going on. I should just add more. So ultimately, that's what I do. Um, now, I will tell you, I am peeling some of the layers of chipboard off of this uh, because the chipboard is a little bit too thick for me to tuck underneath of my photo uh, without me popping up the photo. I had no desire to pop up the photo. Um, I want it to keep it as flat as possible. So that's what happens uh, with the chipboard there. So I've got two different leaves here, two different kind of styles 
Um, I think they came off of two different chipboard sheets too. So I'm gonna pop those there and then I'm gonna add these flowers uh, right here to kind of cover up the join a little bit. And then I decide that I need something else besides the flowers. So I go to the sticker book and I pull out a um, little sticker right there. And it says relax or escape or one of, <laughs> one of those vacation-y words. It says one of them. Um, any, any of them would have been fine. Now, as you can see, I am using my hot glue gun to glue this stuff down. If that makes you cringe, I'm sorry, um, but I have discovered that I love using a hot glue gun on this kind of thing. It's great for fabric. Um, you don't have play in it, so you know once you once you glue it down, you're pretty much committed. Um, but I do enjoy it. Uh, I am gonna pop on a couple little stickers here, and then one more flower down here, so I can bring that uh, darker color down as well. And then I decide that the flowers need centers in them. So that will happen. And then of course, I'm just adhering down some of the little flappy pieces that are kind of flapping in the wind because uh, I don't want them to flap in the wind at all. And then I'm gonna pull out my flat back rhinestones. Now, funny thing is I packed up the Nouveau and the Stickles because I was like, I don't need to use those. I've only got a couple weeks. Uh, I won't need them. What did I want to put on these? The Nouveau drops. I was like, these would be great with those coral ne ne not neon, coral Nouveau drops I have. And I'm like, you pack them up. So you're not going to use them. Um, but I did not pack up the flat back rhinestone things here. So I am putting the smallest size uh, into the center of each flower. I'm just doing a little tiny dollop of hot glue. Um, normally, if I wasn't using hot glue, I would be using Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, um, but I am practically out. There's like one little squirt left in there, and I um, am not placing an order to replenish my uh, shop until we move because I am terrified that product is going to arrive here and not at the new place. So um, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, so I add a little bit of gold mist to just bring in that little gold shimmer a little tiny, tiny bit more. And that is going to do it for this layout, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining. Be sure you check out the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group uh, so that you can play along with any of the sketches. You can play along whenever you want. Um, it could be today, tomorrow, next week. It doesn't matter. There's no pressure. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.